Hello everyone, Rainier Games here, and we're back with another Stardew Valley episode. This is then episode 27, and we're on day 25 of summer. And uh, yeah, we're starting off with checking the weather, as always, and another storm is approaching. Constantly storms in the summer. And in this episode, I do also want us to um, do a little bit more fishing today too, guys. And that's because I've been doing a little research, and... This one can only be caught in summer and winter in the mountain lake. So we are going to be fishing for that one for sure. And this one is all season and this one is all in the desert all season. So nothing to worry about there. And this one is um, spring and fall. And these are also spring and fall. So it's only this fish we're actually missing uh, for uh, this season. So we are... Gonna be doing that before the season changes so that is what we're going to be focusing on in this episode but of course i think our cows are uh, grown too so we're of course going to be doing that too so we're going to be doing a little bit of that and making cheese as well as fishing and we got a quest there to farmer rainier, rainier my knee is acting up again and and you know what helps rubbing the darn thing with hot pepper Okay, yeah, well, we can do that. We can give you some hot pepper. Uh, even have some hot pepper here. Perfect. I'm just putting it in there and it will be delivered to George, was it? When uh, we ever meet him. I think it's that old guy in the wheelchair, if I'm correct. And let us see. We're just going to be watering our plants. And we're going to be chopping away that. And let's water these two. As well as these. There we go. And our sprinklers did water some for us, so we don't need to water that much. Always nice. And it seems like the cows are grown, yes? So let's just pet them all, and then we can take our milk uh, pail. And the lost cow came out too. So you just need to have that one and then uh, left click them. And you get milk. Miraculously stored into something. The other cow ran away apparently. Come back here. There. And we milked all four of them. And then we just feed them all. And then we can make this into cheese. So we're just heading back out. And... Going over here and just placing those in. Just like with the eggs, only this makes us cheese instead. And I'm also going to be putting more stuff for uh, in the preservation jar. I'm not quite sure what do I want to put in. I'm just going to put in normal hot pepper. Put that in there. And then we do the same thing as we did with the cows. Only with the uh, hands here or chickens hands. And they have two and a half hearts now. Very nice. And we just feed them first and then pick up all the eggs. And we did um, donate these to the community center in the last episode. So um, now we just use the rest to always make mayo for us. I don't think you can use the eggs for better things. Could be some cooking recipes and so on. But I think this is the best way to earn money though. And let us go over here, put the jelly for sale, harvest some honey. And the honey we, yeah, we started placing up here instead now. So that goes there. Awesome. And we did get a lot of bait, so that is good. Uh, was there anything else? No, I do believe then we're actually going to go fishing. We do also need to go to the... Um, uh, ocean to uh, check out our crab pots but that we can do a little later because I think this fish needs to be fished before 6 p.m. as it's not a night fish so it's something we need to use as much time as possible on got another book so we are heading that way oh another one of those always nice to just pick them up on the road and we got a skull. 
prehistoric skull. Okay, uh, I would kind of freak out if I found a skull, but... Okay, we're just keeping that. And we're gonna put those inside our fishing rod. Let's see if we can find any bubbling effects in the water, as that could increase our fishing rate. Doesn't seem like we're in luck. So we're just gonna be throwing it out here. And hopefully we get the fish we're looking for. I think it's one of the harder fishes too to catch. So if I'm gonna catch it just like the puffer fish, that's another question. Fingers crossed. Oh, okay, you're a slow more one. Let me guess, you're a carp, aren't you? And uh, carp, yes. I knew it. I've been fishing too much now, so I uh, know what all the fishes are. And I could actually think this is the fish we're actually searching for. So let's see if we can actually be in luck or if Rainier screws up everything. Oh, come on. Come on. Rainier hates fishing, so please just let Rainier have the fish. No, 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 no. I, I can bet you that that's the fish we're looking for. I no. 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 No, 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 no. Stop, stop it, stop it. No. No, darn it. I hate this fish. No. Again, that we had two tries and we failed on both. Can we get a third try? No, a carp just wanted to be catched. Oh, come on. A new record, yeah. Oh, we got a purple star on it. More money for us? Can I get some more of those fishes, please? I'm not gonna bother too much about the treasure, actually. I'm just all about just fishing as much as possible. Rainbow trials, we don't really need that. We're after that hard catching one. Come on, come on. Is this this one? Yes! Exactly what we were looking for. Oh, okay, so uh, that one is now out of the way and we actually finished lake fishing. Awesome. And night fishing we can't do before fall as well as this. We can actually go and do the wood skip. Uh, but I uh, also want to unlock the desert so we can also go for the sandfish. But again, these are all season. So uh, it's nothing to really worry about. So we're done with fishing in these areas. And I am so happy. In a way we should just go to the um, uh, secret woods too, just to fish there too. I forgot to check if it's rain or not. That's required. But I think it was not rain. So we could try the wood skipper in there. But let's just donate the fish so we're actually done with it. So we go in here and we go with this one and bloop. Bundle complete. I love it when we complete bundles. And dressed spinner. Fishing tackle. Metal tab that colorful stream created on. And increases the bite rate when fishing. Ah. Okay, where do I put that one then? Um, to put it somewhere? And colorful streamer created on uh, increases the fish tackle. Do I just need to have it in my inventory or do I need to actually do something? I'm a little confused. But at least we got something that Rainier doesn't know how to use because I have never gotten this far with the fishing. 
as normally when I've played Stardew Valley, I just really play play it chill. So uh, all the stuff you see now, I actually never gotten that far. Uh, yeah, bring George the hot pepper. We didn't bring it. We don't have anything else. Nope. We do have stuff for the museum, but uh, we're just gathering up stuff, and then eventually we go to the museum with the stuff. Uh, maybe we should just head on down to the beach. And let us see. Yeah, then I need those out again. You know what? Now that we are more or less with the museum, why not just go and give that skull and get it over with? And up here. So I'm actually not going to be improving any of our tools yet, as I kind of want us to save up for unlocking the bus. So we're just giving away the skull. Didn't give us anything. But another thing collected. And we are heading this way. I do notice that I have a little bit flickering on the screen here, guys. I hope it's not too bothersome. Uh, my games, uh, my computer sometimes doesn't like this game for some reason. I've been updating a lot of different hardwares and so on, but that just fixes it shortly and then sometimes the issue just comes back again but I hope it's not too too bad um, let's see some corral and yeah, that's it there so then we could just head to the secret woods and uh, do some more fishing because Rainier loves fishing and that's why I just want it over it so we're just done with all the fishing. I know there's an, uh, uh, those that we need to catch in the fall though. But when we get that done, no more fishing. <laughs> I refuse unless it's something important. Of course, we're still going to have the crab pots, but that doesn't take much time and effort. So not, nothing too much to worry about there. And it's Thursday, so there's no cards. But uh, in a way, I'm hoping to not buy anything from that uh, card here. And then we're just going to be uh, gathering all the bundles ourselves. Which be, would be very cool. Okay, and we had in. Got some slams we need to defeat first. Okay, that was just one hit with our new sword. I haven't really tested out our new sword. But it's a level 9 sword and has between 30 to 45 in damage. And I do believe it's actually important to mine away these uh, tree chunks. As then it's a chance of them actually returning. So we just chop this up. And these two, of course, we came here for fishing. And now we're suddenly fighting slimes and uh, other stuff. I'm not quite sure if it's any time requirements on the fishing though. So it could be that it's only active in daytime and not nighttime. And if so, then uh, we're just going to be standing here fishing for no reason. But let's see. Let's see what we get. Uh, driftwood, that's one thing we get. And we got a hit. Let's see. What are you? Could it be that wood skipper thing? No, we got a carp. And let us have our finger crossed. And we got another carp slowly crawling in. <laughs> or swimming in. Don't even need to do anything on this one, actually. And we got a carp. Max. Hoping we level in fishing in this. After this day. And another carp comes. Comes in. Hey, bling. Carp, yay. At least if we get another fish, why not just get carp so we don't have to fill up our inventory that much. Come on. Hit. And yet another carp. Come on. 
And we got a perfect because we didn't need to do anything. Think you got a carp on your uh, fishing rod? Then don't do anything. Basically. I'm sacrificing a perfect to that chest. Of course, you need to catch the fish too to actually get the chest. So we're a little dangerously close to losing the chest there. And let's see what we got. We got bait and six copper ore. Okay, I take that. And hit. 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 How about now? Hit. There we go. And yet another carp. Come on. Not doing anything and uh, bloop. A carp. Hmm. Wood skipper. Yes. Okay, it's at least another fish than a carp, at least. That we can see. And wood skipper. What? <laughs> I just uh, took a second there to like realize, did we seriously get it? Ha! Well, once you look at that, Rainier is finally starting to have some luck. Oh, hello, Mr. Slime. Did you want to surprise me? Okay, so we got that fish out of the way too. So now it's only those few more fishes we have in the fall. And we are done with fishing. Haha. <laughs> awesome. Okay, better not be losing that fish. That I would be very sad over. Just gonna be clearing out this area because it's been annoying me that I always get stuck here somehow. Inventory is full. Why aren't you stacking up with that? There, so now we have a little clearer path too. Okay, and we're just heading back home. can see our grass is starting to grow here again. Oh, why am I watering? So in a way, if we want to, we can actually start cutting up some of it again. Again, I need to check how much hay and so on I have too, though. Let's see. Bloop. Stone. Okay, and we have some more stuff that's done, but let's clear out our inventory for stuff that needs to be sold so fishes go bye bye geese go bye bye you go bye bye goodbye goodbye and goodbye okay and then you go in there very important as i don't want to be fishing you again uh, oak raisin that was used for um, these ones. So oak raisin is actually very important. And we got a lot of mayo. Got our cheese. All of them in normal quality. And we got those. And we're going to be putting stuff in. It's four items done. So let's see what we're going to be putting in there. I guess beans because we have there's so many beans. So we just put those in there and then we sell again what we want to be sold. So the mayo, cheese, I'm going to be selling all of these. You know, they might be used for cooking, but I say goodbye. <laughs> and we're selling the gel and the pickled, pickled something over there, pickled corn. Okay. I'm going to be checking what the price for the corn there is. And the rest we are keeping. I'm gonna put this one in the trash refinery. So you go in there, and then you go in there. And then building materials goes there. Um, green stuff, do we even have green stuff? You are considered green stuff. 
What is actually this one? I guess we put it in there. I guess we don't have it anywhere else. Uh, or would it be more considered building? It's now a building product. <laughs> Fishing, uh, you go in. Mining, you guys go in. And monsters and mobs, you go in. And in a way, we should be making oil though. So in a way, I should just learn to put corn in the oil there. And we are done for the day. And it's going to be rainy the next day. So yeah, we might maybe want to be doing other stuff. I did check all the stuff in the TV. Yes, yes. Okay, going to bed. Level six in fishing. And we've got a new recipe, spinner. And new crafting recipe, trap bobber. Bobber. Okay, what is that? Never been this high in fishing. And level seven in foraging. Tree fertilizer. Uh, wild seeds. Uh, for winter. And new crafting recipe, warp to totem mountains. Mountains? Is that a place I have? That's a place I haven't been. Ah. So, 4,500 just there and fishing, and that gives us a total of 5,561. And I did want to check the pickled corn, and it sells for 150 each. While the oil only sold for 100, I believe. So, it's actually more worth making it into pickle compared to the oil. But then again, I think the oil is good for cooking so maybe we if we make oil we shouldn't sell it we should just uh, keep it for potential cooking as if I go here now I think we should see the oil somewhere a cheese sells for 230 um, maybe we don't see oil I would almost have guessed we would see oil ah Either I'm blind or we just don't see it. Huh. Okay. Uh, let's just check the weather. Clear and sunny, of course it is. And spirits are feeling neutral. And we go out. And I'm going to be checking out that new recipe we learned. Something with trap. Trap something. Uh, tree fertilizer sprinkle on wild tree to in ensure rapid growth, even in winter. Doesn't work on fruit trees. <laughs> Darn it! I was hoping it would actually work on fruit trees. Uh, lightning rod. Uh, that one. Causes fish to escape slower when you aren't reeling them in. Ah, okay. But is it a one-time use or? Uh, see, it's like fish, fishing tackle, and the shape makes it spin around in the water, slightly increasing the bite rate when fishing. So it's it's like nice things, but I'm just confused of where you put it. Um, because I would almost assume. You put it on the fishing rod, or do you need to buy another fishing rod that's better, maybe? Because I can't place it in. Ah. Well, I guess I need to research into that, or maybe you guys are going to drop it in the comments. But for now, I have no clue. <laughs> okay. And let us see. It's a new day, and we're going to be doing new things. And we can start off with these and we're just gonna be making one blueberry jelly this was strawberry jelly okay and we're gonna be doing the cows first because the cheese normally takes the longest so we're just gonna be petting and milking pet and milk pet and milk 
And milk and pet apparently we're doing that all the way around here. <laughs> and we got Ah okay, so you can get normal milk with better quality and eventually we'll also get bigger milk. Okay. I wonder if this one becomes a better cheese then. Let's find out. Oh no, we don't want to drink the milk. And let us take that one. So, broken glass and uh, broken CD both give uh, refined quartz, which is nice. And you don't need to use coal if, for example, if you melt down normal quartz, you do require coal. In this one, you don't. So that is always a nice addition. Uh, there, and let's see. That was wrong. Just putting this one just in. And then we're gonna go to our chickens. Feed them. Pet them. And steal their eggs. <laughs> yes. There, and let's make mayo. Like uh, so. Oh yeah, maybe we should also harvest our farm. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Is there any corn ready? Doesn't seem like it. And, but you are ready. Let's take you down and finish that off. Then we can start putting stuff inside here. Like so. And put the quartz back there and then sell that one jelly we have. Goodbye. And I think we got it. Yes. Okay, so I wondered, like, when it came to the vault, there was 10,000 and 25,000. I'm a little curious what the 10,000 gives. And then we have also the 25,000. So we need to get these two to get the desert unlocked. So we can start exploring other stuff too. And everything else here, we can't really donate. We can donate this one now. But other than that, there's nothing. I'm just gonna go through everything. This is just a winter. And a pantry, we need fall for that. We need large milk for that. And we need big, better barns and so on. So that is actually something we really would need too though. As we want either goats or um, uh, do, 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 yeah, ducks. I think actually I want to focus on the barn first. But for us to do that, I would almost assume it's going to require a lot of stone and a lot of wood. Maybe even clay. Don't know. But should we go and find out maybe? I think that could be a good thing. To figure out what it requires to upgrade yet again. I would assume maybe we have the money for it. Could be wrong. And uh, the resources were probably a little bit too short on. So let's head on in here. And construct farm. And that's the barns. And that's a big coop. And that's a big barn. Okay, so we're just missing money we have. Uh, stone I'm missing a little bit and wood too. As you can see, the barn is just a little bit more expensive. But then again, I feel like the barn produces us a little bit better stuff. So I think we're going to be going for the barn first. Uh, as we unlock them goats. Uh, allowing animals to give birth. Okay. And and that's one comes with an incubator. But we need wood and we need stone. Uh, how much was it? 400 wood. Okay, and we have 245 or 40, 42. Mm, I'm a little unsure. Do I want... A uh, big coop, or do I want 
the barn. I, I'm leaning more towards the barn, to be honest, though. As that will earn us more money uh, in the long run. Of course, we will be getting both, but I think the bigger barn could maybe be the best. So, I think we're going to go for that. I already forgot the recipe, but was it 450 and 250? See, so yeah, I already forgot. But we are going to be going for that. So, got to be needing some wood. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And bloop. Timber. Just go. Can I pass something in our way? A tree stump. Go away. In a way, I actually want to, in a way, just clear out an, an entire area and then start focus, focusing on planting trees. But I don't know if that's the best tactic, though. As there is growing trees, as you can see, so eventually we're, we're not keeping up. We're not chopping down more trees than we're there's growing i feel at least now but again that could quickly change <laughs> because as you can see we don't have that many grown up trees though i should try to not cut down too many tree stumps i guess uh, because i guess we actually can afford a bigger coop now though And timber. Which would be nice if we could just get building on something. What's a 450 wood and 200 stone for the barn? Was it? Because if so, if we hurry, maybe we could r reach that. I forgot the recipe again, guys. So I'm just rushing here. The rush for time. Come on. Two hundred stone and four hundred and fifty. And let's just run to Robin. With if that was the recipe, which I can't remember now, it could be two hundred and fifty stone too. Then we're going here wastefully. But if if that is the requirements, then we're getting the barn. I just feel like it was 250. Let's run to Robin. Don't close your store yet. Uh, oh, we can buy it now. Ha! Huh. I didn't expect us to do that for the first try. There, so we want that one improved. Thank you. Haha. -ha. Awesome. So then we're, she will be working on a bigger barn. So we will uh, actually get more space and can start getting even more stuff. And then again, we do need four more cheese presses. So that is something we're going to be working on too now. So uh, we have that out of the way because again, cheese takes longer time to process and we kind of want it all to process through the entire day so the best is then to just have all of them so you could just line it up uh, there we grab you we grab you we grab a new corn that we could just make into oil i guess it's nice to have a little oil because we did sell them right yeah, I do believe we did sell oil. Uh, there, and let us see. Green stuff, you guys go in. Uh, nothing else goes in there. Let's, let's sell what we want to sell. There was no one that got better quality because the milk was better. 
that's sad, but uh, it's uh, kind of like with the eggs. Big eggs gives Mayo with uh, Gold Star, while uh, Big Milk gives then maybe cheese with Gold Star. Okay, and okay, we're gonna keep that mushroom. Actually, it gives a lot of health. But those mushrooms we don't need, and there's rest of the stuff we're gonna keep. I think we want to put in here. No. Mostly stuff we're gonna keep ourselves. Put the coal in. Uh, the geode actually goes in there. And nothing in there, but I do treat the mushrooms as food. Let's sort this out. And then building materials, you and you. Of course, we are gonna be gathering, so we, when the barn is complete, we just maybe do the coop too. And then we also start making a lot of money to uh, go to the desert. But it's not like uh, it's something we need to do. As these things will then produce a lot of money on, for us. So we can actually start doing other things. That is good. Okay. And let us see. What should we use the rest of our energy on? Of course, I know we should be making more of these cheese presses. And that requires copper bars. So we would need four copper bars. And 40 hardened wood. 40 hardened wood we have. Uh, copper bars we can make four. We just need a little bit more coal. Was it 10 wood for one coal? Yes. And we also do need stone and wood. We don't have stone and we don't have wood. So we're just going to be chopping some more stone and wood from our property. Can't remember if we have some more boulders. Yes, at least one. Gives 15 stone if I remember correctly. Yes. Another uh, boulder here. I think this is maybe the last one. Ah, another one here. I was wrong. I stand corrected. Even though nobody corrected me. <laughs> okay. And that is at least enough for one cheese press. And then we just need a wood for two. Timber. Okay, so now we have one cheese press as long as we get that copper. And take that. Just taking away these two. We have at least enough wood for two cheese presses now. And our energy is running low. There. In a way, we should be taking this a little bit too. So just gathering a little hay. Trying to cut it off a little bit. Not making too much of a system here though, but it's just to if if the grass is grown together like this, it, this area just becomes unused. Well, if we cut it up here, it will still spread in the other ways, but it will also try to cover this up again, so we get a lot more hay. So let's just cut down in this direction. Mm -hmm. There. And I'm actually going to check how much hay we do have in our silos. And we're going to be making one coal just so I have all the... Um, Required copper bars. And uh, let's see. Oh, it's actually full now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a chest. And I'm going to just place it right next to this one. And as you can see, you can't take hay out of this one. But I do believe you can actually go to the feeder. Uh, yeah, you can't do it here. You need to do it next time you're feeding, I think. 
Uh, so the next day we're just going to be extracting a lot of hay from this one. So I think actually you can extract a lot. And that's a way you can just pull out hay then and then pull them into a chest. Uh, as we uh, don't want to be collecting more tall tall grass because then we just would be losing hay. So we're just going to have this one on orange. Which is then going to be uh, our reminder that this is then the hay one. And we're going to fill that one with hay. I'm not quite sure how much it stacks. But I think actually filling up a chest with hay actually contains a lot more hay than actually having a silo. <laughs> Strangely enough. And let us see. And we're going to be sorting stuff back to where it needs to go. Building materials. Wait, I guess we can make one cheese press just to have built one. Uh, what am I missing? Hardened wood. Pop, 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 pop. Cheese press. Voila. And that one is complete. I'm just going to place them like so. And let me think. You go in there as well as you. You are building. Forgot you. And mining goes in there. And this is maple then. Yes. Don't think we need maple for anything because I think. Oops. Pen tree. Oh, I think it's the next one here. We did complete this one, so uh, then maple is just going to be used to make us uh, bee houses. Uh, which would, again, require coal and wood and so on. So we can't build another one quite yet. But we want to make as many bee houses as possible too. And uh, yeah, I think we have everything done. We sold everything too. So let's hope we level in something. Pet our cat. Oh, we did. And let's go to bed. Level up, please. No. No level ups for us. But at least cash for us. That is nice. Four cheese. 1,104. And then you can see the Mayo in together is around 1,240, 60. Somewhere between there. So if you have Golden Star cheese, then you can see the cheese gives a lot more than... Um, uh, what the Mayo do and um, the cows eat uh, the same hay so they don't eat more than the chickens or anything so that's why I think it's more worth having bigger animals but we see how it goes with the goats and so on if they produce even better stuff so then a total of 2798 and we're moving into day 27 I think there's 29 days or 30 days in each season I'm not quite sure and it's a new day and uh, yeah, we're going to be wrapping up the episode here then guys. Again, I, I want to give a huge thank you to you that are watching all the way to the end as you're just awesome. So a huge thank you to you as the support means very, very much to me. So thank you so much. And until next time, guys, stay safe and bye.